This is a video on a blinker system on an older Harley, one that still has a blinker relay. But this same system is used on cars that have blinker relays. The newer cars and motorcycles use electronics to do this, so it's not quite the same as they use an electronic module. At the end of this video, I am going to set these circuits up with a meter and a 12 volt source and incandescent bulbs and LED bulbs to show you the difference in light draw. And I will replace the blinker relay with a timer relay and show you exactly how it will work. Now the main purpose of this video is not only to show you how the system works on the older ones, but how to convert from a bulb style or a standard incandescent bulb style over to LEDs and why they don't work if you just do a direct conversion. To explain first, this is a common electrical signal for a ground. And you'll see that I use that on the bulbs and also on the LEDs, it's a common ground um, that they have. Now on the older Harleys, they ground the turn signals internally. So there's not a separate wire ran or ground through the frame and your negative battery wire is connected to your frame. So now let's take a look at what actually happens. You come out of your battery, which is 12 volts DC, and out of the 12 volts, you come off the positive and you come through your circuit breaker is the first thing that the battery comes to for the accessories. After you come through your circuit breaker, which is closed, you come to the main power switch. And when you power your motorcycle up, it closes this main power switch and supplies power over to the blinker relay. Now, I will, I will go into a discussion on exactly how the blinker relay works after I explain this circuit. From your blinker relay, which is normally closed when it's first applied power to it, so this switch would be closed. Now your power comes down to your left turn signal switch and your right turn signal switch on your handlebars. And they would normally be open because if they were closed, your, your blinkers would blink. So when you push your left turn signal switch, for instance, it closes this switch and now power is flowing the entire circuit and it puts 12 volts over to your inconsistent incandescent light bulbs, both bulbs. Like I said earlier, they're grounded internally and then the ground makes its way back through the metal of either the front forks through the frame to the negative side of the battery. And again, there's that symbol, which is the symbol for the negative side of the battery. Now, the system is exactly the same if you want to run LEDs. It doesn't change any of it. But where the problem lies is with the blinker relay. Now, how does this blinker relay actually work? This blinker relay internally has what is called a bimetallic strip. This bimetallic strip is two dissimilar metals that are combined. One's on one side and one's on the other. And your power wire comes to the bimetallic strip and on the end of that bimetallic strip, right here is a contact. And then there is a contact on the opposite side, right here, which it connects to, and power flows through it. The point of this bimetallic strip is the metals heat up because the circuit draws current, these metals heat up. And what would be the blue metal heats faster than the green metal, causing it to curl. When power is flowing through this, it causes the blue metal to curl up faster than whatever this green metal may be. And now the, the contact is no longer touching the other contact, and it opens the circuit, causing the light to go out. So here are your lights on. And here your light is off. So what actually happens is when you install LED bulbs, like on this drawing below, 
is the LEDs draw so much less than in regular incandescent bulbs, it doesn't generate enough current to make this bimetallic strip get hot and bend. And therefore, that you push the turn signal switch for whatever side you're using, the LED will come on and it, or, and it won't shut off. And, and this is the problem that people run into. So everybody says, hey, if you're gonna run LEDs, then you have to run a load resistor. And that load resistor would be somewhere over here on this line. Let's just say it were here and you would have to run one here, or maybe they just run a single load resistor right on the other side of the timer. I'm not really sure, I've never installed one, but this is how they run these load resistors. And what the load resistor does is it pulls a lot more current to make this blinker relay, this bimetallic strip in the blinker relay to open up. So if you're concerned about your power consumption on your motorcycles, and that's why you wanna run LED turn signals, the minute you put a load resistor in, you no longer have that power savings. You're right back to where you started. So you might as well, at that point, just stay with incandescent bulbs. Now, the, thing, the other thing is, is that eBay sells a timer relay for like $5. And you can adjust the speed of this relay. So you adjust it around a second. And this timer relay, when it gets power, it's same same setup. You have the negative on the battery. Power comes down through the circuit breaker, through the main power switch. And then you come to this timer relay. And the relay closes. And then after one second, it opens. And then after another second, it closes again. And it times out that way. That will allow you to run LED bulbs in your turn signals without having to run a load resistor. So you won't have to have these load resistors in the circuit in order to get your LED bulbs to work. And now you have that power savings that comes along with LEDs. Plus the other fact, of course, with LEDs is that they're good for a very long time where incandescent bulbs go bad. So when we install the timer relay, it doesn't change the circuit. You don't have to do any wiring modifications at all. You just put the timer relay in place of a regular blinker relay and the system works fine. Now I'm going to do a practical application with a meter and show you the exact draw of incandescent bulbs versus the draw of LED bulbs. And I'll show you how they work with a simple setup. I'll use a battery charger and then I'll change between the two different relays and have the two different bulbs. Incidentally, this timer relay will work with regular incandescent bulbs, but I wouldn't see much of a need to buy it if you already have a blinker relay. First thing we're gonna look at with this is the two incandescent bulbs are lit. And right now I'm not using the flasher relay, I'm wired direct, but I wanted to show you the amps that it draws. It draws 0.456 of one amp, so just under a half of an amp to light the two turn signals on these two incandescent bulbs. So now I have the LEDs wired in. And as you can see by my amp meter, these are drawing 0 0.025 amps, or 250 milliamps, which is about 5% of what the incandescent bulbs draw. So now we have a standard heavy duty flasher and we have the two incandescent bulbs, just like it would be wired on your motorcycle or in an older car. And when I hook power to it, so you can see them blinking. Here's the standard flasher. Now when I take one of the wires off, it's going to blink slower because there's less current and it causes the bimetallic strip to heat up slower and it'll flash slower because of that. So you can see it's heating up slower and flashing slower. Okay, so now I went to the electronic flasher relay that I got off of eBay and it says for LEDs. Now it does have a B and an L. The B goes to the battery wire or the hot wire to 12 volts and the L goes to the load which is the bulbs. 
So now you see they're flashing and they're flashing at about the same rate. And if I take one of the bulbs off, it'll still stay flashing at the same rate. Okay, so now my LED turn signals are wired to my standard flasher and you can see they don't flash because it, they just don't pull enough current to cause it to break over. And this is the problem that people have when they install LED turn signals and then people say you need a load resistor. Okay, so now I have the electronic flasher wired in and you can see that they both flash. And if you take one off, it's flash at the same rate again, just like before. This is the benefit of LEDs with electronic flasher. Now you can install this electronic flasher in line with an electronic turn signal system. So if you have a newer bike and it has a module and it won't flash, I believe you could put this in line with it and it'll work just fine. Now I haven't done that to try it, but I do believe it'll work. I hope this explains why your lights won't flash when you install LED turn signals. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. If you have something else that you would like to see, please leave a comment on what you would like to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.